It's extraordinary to me because it really is one of those examples where everything you hoped could come together to present that gorgeous landscape in a unique and interesting and very visually appealing way just really happened. My name is Ken Rhodes. I'm a scientist by training, PhD neuroscientist. I'm currently the chief scientific officer of a young biotech company located here in the Boston area. And I am a very avid landscape photographer. I particularly enjoy long exposure photography because in my sort of scientific training, you know, we like to control as many things as possible, but sometimes unexpected things happen uh, with experiments. And with long exposure photography, each image captures sort of its own experiment. You can plan only so much about what the final image will look like, and then the rest is kind of up to nature and time to give you the final image. And I really like that element of uncertainty in how I capture images. I had always had a passion for photography. I did quite a bit of photography, film photography, when I was in high school um, and at university. I put the camera down for several years as I pursued an advanced degree and raised a family and then picked it up again in earnest. I'd say about 10 years ago, really started, sort of re recaptured my interest in landscape photography in a way that surprised me even. I shoot phase one equipment because it's truly extraordinary. I love the modularity of the phase one system, the fact that I can upgrade the digital back as new advances of technology emerge. And as my photography advances, I like the fact that the company really supports the camera body with new innovations that come out that let me approach things in landscape photography that I had never really even imagined before. Any tools that are very convenient, but also tools that let me take my photography to a new level. That image was taken in a location called Crummock Water, which is in the Lake District in sort of the north central England. It was just one of those days where all the elements of nature combined to really lend themselves to capturing what I find to be an incredibly beautiful landscape image. It was a relatively soft light for a mid-afternoon but with the clouds and the movement and the wind, it kind of all sort of set itself up in a beautiful way for you know, my real passion, which is long exposure photography. I walked away from that capture with a big smile on my face because I knew even in the camera that it, it was gonna be something I would love. I think as humans, we're not on this earth for a very long period of time and the landscape will continue to exist long after we as individuals are, are gone and we should do everything we can to preserve that landscape for future generations and really just protect this valuable resource. One of the things I'd like to try and achieve through my photography is to, is to bring those extraordinary landscapes to people in a different way and maybe help them appreciate that this resource is something that we have to protect. <laughs>